What's up guys, today I'm gonna to show you guys how to install your own heavy bag, so stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys, Carlo here, and today I'm gonna to show you guys how to hang a heavy bag. In this particular place, I just got this uh, 135 pound XL four foot Nazo heavy bag. Uh, in the mail yesterday, so I'm really excited to hang this up. I'm going to be mounting this to my garage ceiling here, which is going to be drywall over wooden stud. Now I have an access panel there. I was able to inspect the wooden stud that this connects to. Obviously you see I've drilled into my ceiling before. Um, I've had my 120 pound water aqua bag mounted. I've, I also had this uh, Everlast Nevertier bag um, installed as well. So. If you've seen my videos, you guys have seen these bags and I've hung them, had no issues with that. So with that being said, depending on your particular location, wherever you may be living, if you have a garage with stud, just make sure you inspect it to make sure that it's solid, it's built properly. Or even better, if you live somewhere where you have concrete masonry where you can drill into uh, that will support at least 100 pounds on up. So you want to make sure that the actual um, whatever you're drilling into can hold the load as well as hold it when it starts to swing when it gains some momentum so keep that in mind it's not just the actual weight of the bag that you're so so much concerned with but you're also concerned with the momentum of it uh, swinging when you start to hit the bag so do keep that in mind otherwise you might have to get uh, a, you know a aftermarket mount i know title ringside sells them you can get something welded custom made um, to give you a little bit more support. So do keep that in mind. I also do know that some people will brace the, brace their heavy bag system. So they'll run a two by four across from one stud to the next and kind of make like a tripod type system to where they mount it to. So that might be necessary for you set up. It just, again, depends on your entire setup. Now I'll show you which, what I have here to do the install. First, I have this title, heavy duty, heavy bag hanger with a swivel. So it rotates, which is really nice. It doesn't stay stationary, this rotates. So as you hit the bag and the bag starts to kind of turn, uh, this will turn with it and it doesn't bind up the chain. Next is going to be, I have this uh, ringside um, coil spring right here, and this will hang from the chain as well as from the mount. And basically what this does, is it helps reduce um, the vibration of the bag. So when you're hitting it, this spring gives it a little bit of more flex so the bag doesn't bounce around as much and it doesn't vibrate up into the ceiling. Then I have the chain as well. That's going to connect the bag to the ceiling. I have an eighth of an inch Milwaukee drill bit that's going to go in my drill. I have a three inch lag screws. You can get Phillips head like you see here with the cross or you can get um, you know, the, uh, the socket head type. It just depends on what you have at your own home. I wouldn't go out and buy a separate drill just for this, but you can see that it has some coarse threads there. And that's going to be so when you drill into the wood or whatever surface you're drilling into, it grabs really nicely. So uh, you want to make sure that the screw is at least three inches in length and that it has coarse threads. That way, once it goes in there, it's not coming out. And then lastly, I have uh, these flat metal washers and these washers are going to go on the screws, uh, which are going to mount to the actual uh, heavy bag swivel mount right there. So nice and clean. I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to install this and we'll go through this process together. I already pre-drilled the wooden holes with the eighth of an inch drill. So as you can see here, all I do is just have my lag screw with the washers on here. And I'm gonna screw this in into the ceiling with this uh, swivel mount. And this is going straight into the wood. So once it's in here, it's in here. It shouldn't go anywhere. get that first one started and then get this guy started as well. Make sure that's in there good. That's not going to go anywhere. That's in there nice and tight. And then from here, you can see that this mount swivels around and has this little nut that holds 
this little machine nut together. And then from here, I could slide the chain as well as the spring on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the chain and the spring and we'll put that up too. Okay guys, I'm up here now. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up the carabiner into this top portion, put the nut on here. You don't really have to tighten anything down too hard just yet. And then from here, I'm gonna put the spring portion onto the carabiner. Um, if the opening is too small, the good thing about the carabiner is you can just slide it over, up and over, and it should just hook right on. So now I have the spring. I'm just gonna, again, I'm gonna hand tighten this. And from here, the good thing about this, this particular chain is that you can pick the height that you want your bag to hang from. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure that out, but first I'm gonna go ahead and just put this link on here to hold that in place. This lower piece right here is what's gonna hook onto the actual heavy bag, um, the leather strap loops that are gonna hang on to this. But first I gotta figure out the measurement that I want and then I can put it on here. Uh, but you can see, again, you have the swivel mount up here, the carabiner, the spring, and then the chain. This spring right here is what's going to help, once you have all that weight on here, it's gonna help distribute the actual vibration of the bag on, on this uh, on this carabiner and onto this right here, onto this swivel. So, and then once I have that all down, then I can actually tighten this all down. Um, just enough to where this still swivels, but it doesn't come apart. So next we're gonna go ahead and measure this bag out to see what the height is, including these straps. That way we know once we put this bag up, it's gonna be at the correct height. Now, one thing when you're jabbing this bag, you want your jabs to be maybe a, a little bit above the center line or the belly of the bag. Um, the reason for that is you want to have your body shots. You got to remember you have your head, then you have like your liver, your body area right here. So if you hang the bag too low, your jabs are going to be all the way up here. Your body shots are going to be in this area. If you hang, uh, hang the bag, excuse me, if you hang the bag too high, then maybe your jabs are going to be right here and then your body shots are going to be way too low. So you really want to find the sweet spot between this lower strap right here and basically this uh, nasal boxing patch. That's kind of the sweet spot. And again, I think the jabs being right about here is going to be about perfect. Um, and then, you know, right here is going to be good for the body shot. So let's go ahead and measure this out all the way to the top of the D-ring on the straps and see what it is. And uh, in place using my measuring tape. Obviously these two rings at the top are gonna to be together and we're looking at right at five feet, approximately about five feet total uh, for the height of that. And then the actual punching area from the bottom, I wanna be right at 30 inches from the bottom. 30 inches is right about here um, that I want my jab Kind of this is the section where I want my straight punches to be landing right there. So 30 inches from the bottom of the bag and then five feet for the total height. So let's get the hang in the bag and see how it looks. All right, so now that I know the total height of the bag is five feet, including the straps where it's gonna be hanging from. So that's gonna be five feet for the total hanging height. I got my broomstick right here. I'm just gonna need that and a black marker, a black Sharpie. If it's an erasable marker, even better, but I have a little black Sharpie here. Um, and I have this broomstick, and this broomstick, I'm gonna go ahead and measure five feet out. So this is what we can use to kind of gauge where we want, how high we want the bag to hang from the chain. So actually this broomstick, this broomstick is actually exactly five feet. So I don't need my marker because this, this thing is five feet. But if your broomstick is longer than this, then use your marker to mark it off. But I got lucky, I didn't even realize that this broomstick is five feet. So with that being said, we do remember also that I showed you earlier that from the bottom of the bag to the area where I want my jab and my straight punches to land is 30 inches. So we're gonna put this broomstick up against the chain to see right where 30 inches from, is from the bottom. So we're gonna assume that th this end of the broomstick is gonna be the bottom of the heavy bag. I'm gonna measure 30 inches up from the bottom and that's essentially where the area on that heavy bag is where I want to hit my straight punches with. So we're going to go ahead and stick it up against the chain and see exactly if that needs to be where it's at and if we need to adjust it or not. Okay guys, so I have my broomstick here now. Obviously 
This is going to be the, representing the bottom of the heavy bag. That's going to be the top of the heavy bag that's going to connect to, bottom, to the bottom of the chain hanger right here. And then right here is that black mark I used with the Sharpie. That's going to represent 30 inches from the bottom of the heavy bag, which is pretty much where I want my jabs, kind of like eye level, nose level, where I want my jabs, my straight punches to be landing. So if I put this up against the chain, hopefully my first guess was right. That's gonna represent the, where the bag's gonna hang from. Um, I'm sure I'm not pushing up against it. It's right at the perfect height, it's right here. It's maybe just a, a hair underneath my nose. So this is actually a perfect height. And then I don't know if you can see on the video, but you can see where the bottom of the heavy bag will be. So this is actually a perfect height where it needs to be. Now, if it was off, it was too low, or if it was too high, then I can just go up here and, uh, and choose a different uh, ch chain length, or should I say a different ring of the chain. So I can just take this off of the spring and then obviously make it longer or shorter uh, based on where I need uh, that line to be at. So that's probably the easiest way uh, to measure this out. That way you know the correct height where the bag needs to be. So let's go ahead and hang this back. All right, so I finally have the bag all hung up and mounted. As you can see, it looks fantastic. I really like the black and yellow color. Uh, again, this is pretty much like the Floyd Mayweather bag. Again, this is four feet XL. This is their 135 pound bag. Um, you can see now with the spring mounted that the bag has a little bit of wiggle to it and that's gonna help absorb some of the shock when I'm punching the bag. Um, there's gonna be a little bit of a breaking period, um, but my initial thoughts on this bag is it's really firm, um, but it's even. There's it's nice, nice distribution of the weight throughout the entire bag. Um, I might drop it down, maybe one more ring to bring it down a little bit more. Um, we'll see how I like it at this height. I think it's pretty good. It probably could go a little bit lower, but overall, I think uh, I'm really satisfied with where it's at. But the actual padding consistency feels really awesome has a nice bounce to it. And uh, you can really dig shots into into the bag and really feel like you can really put some good power into it. Um, it doesn't feel like hard as a rock. It has a good firmness to it. Not too, not too hard, but not too soft either. So definitely a, a, an excellent bag uh, from my first look at it and just kind of feeling it out. So. I'm going to be using this for a couple weeks and then I'm going to do the official review on it once I've used this bag and kind of broken it in and kind of go over the construction of the bag after I use it as well as what's inside, uh, what they fill it with so you guys can see what's inside the bag as well. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below. Thanks for joining me and in installing this bag and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, and I'll make sure to put the uh, link in the description box uh, where you can find this Nozzle Heavy Bag. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.